Could a nuclear thermal rocket take off from the surface of the Moon? Could a nuclear thermal rocket take off from the surface of the Moon? The application is a shuttle from LEO to the lunar surface. Fairly recent NASA plans include an NTR LEO to LLO shuttle, but use a separate lander to descend to the Moon's surface. HTTPS colon slash slash ntrs.nasa.gov slash archive slash nasa slash cassie.ntrs.nasa.gov slash 20170005398.pdf. Dan Hansen's suggested link on the Lunar Ice NTR is much appreciated. This rocket is optimized for lunar ascent. It is desired to consider the inverse problem. Could an NTR shuttle from LEO to lunar orbit be expected to land and ascend from the Moon? If it disappeared around to far side, and did not reappear, could it be assumed to have landed, or would knowledgeable observers think it unlikely that such a shuttle would descend? I originally voted to close the question as I thought it was a bit broad. Can. We build an NTR that can lift off from the moon? Sure, and because of the response to Organic Marbles and JCRM's comments, which were hints on how to improve the question. But, since it's been reopened. Given the link to Sorensen's blog post, we'll assume we're talking about the same kind of SSTONTR he is, and as a starting point I'll use his numbers for specific impulse, propellant mass sensitive term, and gross mass sensitive term. I just replaced the delta for lunar escape velocity, and get a payload mass fraction of 0.3125. So yeah, you can build such a system to lift off from the moon, with some useful payload, and head to Earth. So, the next obvious questions would be, what kind of NTR? Solid core? Gas core? Something else? What's the source of the propellant? Ice from the lunar poles? Or something else? What's the source of the fissionable material? What are you shuttling between Earth and the Moon? People? Stuff? How much? How many trips do you expect to get out of a given reactor fuel load? What sort of environmental constraints would we be under? It's not like the lunar surface is a friendly environment to begin with, but would contamination from the rocket exhaust be an issue for other surface operations?